everybody. Yeah, I'm alive. Uh, sorry about the break between videos here. Um, yeah, had some stuff going on. You know, real people stuff, not YouTube stuff. <clears throat> well, first of all, it's 7 18 in the morning. I'm driving home from work and I just thought I'd chat with you guys for a little bit. Uh, if you're looking for metal detecting in this video, sorry, it's just going to be a short update on what's been going on for me. Um, oh, my lady is walking every morning that I drive past. Um, so, after my last video, I uh, got myself a nice uh, respiratory infection that I'm prone for. It's, uh, it's kind of a twice a year thing for me uh, in fall, which our fall here in California is about two weeks long. Um, yeah, pollens and stuff, they affect me and yeah, it kind of knocks me out of commission for a bit. So I was down for two weeks for that, trying to get over it because I've just been coughing and hacking and I'm still doing a little bit now because I'm clearing out my lungs. Because right after that, I get meds and everything for uh, to take care of that because I need some antibiotics and whatnot. Uh, I went straight to Korea. Well, when I was in Korea, my contacts for detecting their, well, let's just put it this way, the old man, he's back in the States, and the other old dude that I would have detected with, I didn't know how to contact him. The old dude was supposed to give me his information, which I asked for it a few times, and well, like I said, he's old. It kind of slipped his mind. So much so that on my last week there, he asked me if I ever got a hold of him, and I replied, uh, no, I don't have his information. And he said, oh, yeah, because I asked him the same thing, and he said, yeah, it, it, he didn't have your information. So it's kind of comical, really. But in all actuality, I needed that time to heal, uh, which I did. I spent my time uh, relaxing, walking, just seeing the sights, uh, exercising, just getting myself back into the fighting form because I had the full intentions of coming back here and taking the knocks out and going out to the relic patch and tearing it up. Well, a week before I was leaving, there was a little fire. Uh, you may have heard of it. It was called the campfire. Uh, no pun intended. Oh, hey dude. I know that guy. And, um, yeah, air quality in my area of California uh, went from, uh, when I left, it's about uh, 38, 39, or AQI, to at the height of the fire, around 458. Uh, so much so that they stopped work where I, so I'm leaving now. Uh, granted, we still had to work in Korea, and our air quality is like 186. Both bad, but infinitely worse over here. So, I landed back in the States on the 17th to wearing a particulate mask that I bought in Korea. I bought a few of them and they use them there. I figure if it's good enough for the toxic Chinese industrial pollution dust, it's good enough for uh, fire smoke, which actually it was a lot better. <coughs> That's more of that still. About three or four days after I got back, we had a nice rainstorm, which knocked out the rest of the fire, which was very nice. Cleared up the skies. And of course, made my own patch nice and soggy and soaking wet. So I had to stop. I couldn't do anything, uh, which is frustrating because while I was in Korea, I ordered an upgrade for my knocks. I ordered the six inch uh, sniper coil, I guess you could call it, the little coil, because I want to use that out there to work around all those chunks of iron that I normally dig out of there, and that should help me out. Well, I didn't get to do that. So then I had uh, last
last week I was off. Uh, Wednesday night was my last night of work. Or Tuesday night. Wednesday night. Wednesday night. And I was off for the Thanksgiving holiday until Monday this week. And it rained. Yeah. So that's been my luck. But on thanks day before Thanksgiving. Thanksgiving. It was Thanksgiving. Um, I went to the store. Uh, it was just me and my boy hanging out that day. Uh, the lady in the house had other things to do. Uh, so we were planning on doing our family Thanksgiving later. So I went to the store to get uh, a couple nice steaks and potatoes and whatnot. We are going to have, you know, bachelor dinner. I was going to do some grilling. So I went to the store and picked up my stuff. It was a beautiful day, the air quality was great, it just got been raining a little bit. So I was driving around with my windows down, enjoying the fresh air. And when I got to my house and rolled my windows up, that window, it didn't go back up. So now, I have to wait to go out to the rolling patch because it's down a long dirt road before I want to even risk messing anything up with her. Uh, Thanksgiving day, I ordered a window regulator for a motor assembly. I had to, when it happens, it's a cable lift system. If you're familiar with cars, uh, this one pushes onto the center of the glass. So it has a cable that goes over the top and the bottom and has a little drum where it goes up and down. It's a mechanical apparatus. Yeah, the cable came off decided to wrap itself around the motor. And if you've ever dealt with cables, once they get kinked and messed up like that, unless they're under some sort of strong tension, they, they don't work too well. So I had to kind of jimmy my window up. I have a rolled up magazine, basically, keeping it from dropping down too far because, well, this road I'm on right now is pretty bumpy, and by the time I get home, my window's down about a half inch, so I gotta push it back up every time. That was supposed to come in yesterday, and I was gonna stay up and spend the 35 minutes to swap it out. It's a pretty simple job, but it never came in. So, that's where I'm at. Welcome back. Oh, and in between there, I had to replace. Uh, See, my, while I was gone, my kitchen lights stopped working in the house, so I had to replace ballasts and bulbs. Um, yeah, it's just been one thing after another since the season. But the good part is, once it's all fixed, I won't have to worry about it for a while. So, today, it's supposed to rain. I might get my card in. So I will be replacing that in the rain because I'd like my window to work. I would love to take you on that journey, but I'm pretty sure a lot of you would find that very interesting. Um, but yeah, like I said, uh, this is just an update. I've, of course, my channel is based around metal detecting, but there is a lot of vlogging that goes on, and that's what I'm doing. I did try to do some video in Korea because I wanted to you know, video some interesting stuff, maybe some interesting sites for you guys. Uh, all I did was take a few pictures. Um, not too much straight video I could do. It was actually kind of all there. Uh, I did walk out or hike a walk from my hotel all the way out to the closest mountain trail that they had. And I did a little bit there, this exercise. Um, but that was it. It was just nothing really interesting. Um, I wanted to get out on the weekends, but with my work schedule that I had, um, I was pretty wiped out. I ended up sleeping until like 1 o'clock Saturdays and Sundays. And that just told me my body just needed that time. And honestly, now I feel great. I feel healthy. And, uh, yeah, we'll hit it hard when uh, I get a chance. So, sorry for no uploads for a while. It just, it is what it is.
it is. Uh, I do notice that I had a couple of new subscribers. Thank you for subscribing. And I apologize you guys to you guys also that I haven't put any new content though. So as soon as I can, I'll get out there. Um, but hey, I've been watching a lot of your guys' videos, uh, the people who have their channels. I did a lot of that when I was in Korea. I watched a lot of that. It took a little while to make that work, so watching on my laptop, the speakers are starting to go, um, and, or my ears are going, I don't know, it's probably a combination of both, and, well, my last week I was there, they had a, it was Veterans Day, they had a sale at the military store, yeah, I spent some money. I ended up buying myself uh, an Xbox, uh, the One X, and I was highly delighted to find out that I could watch YouTube through that, so I had a way of watching YouTube and enjoying your guys' channels on the very large screen that was in my room. Not to mention I was playing uh, the video game uh, Red Dead Redemption 2, if you're a gamer. That's a fun game. Um, I like open world games where you can explore and find things. Uh, I follow the story, but I like doing all the side quests too as they pop up. So it's kind of like the tangents I get in when I'm chatting with you guys. So, yeah, it's a fun game. If you like games, play that one. Uh, anyways, uh, I wish you all good luck. Uh, happy hunting. And like I always say, stay safe and uh, Bye for now. Let's get up. Sorry. I tried. Uh, if I got some interesting pictures from Korea, I'll throw them at the back of this video. Sound good? No. Yeah, we'll do that. I'll look through my phone and see what I got. Y'all take care. Have a great day. I think I walked pretty far. I made it to Chicago.